Hey guys, it's Fraggit, you already know who it is, and by the, the the video title, yeah. Well, this is how it starts out. I, my ex-best friend, I mean, I'm not friends with her anymore because of this, this, like, straight reason. Her and her boyfriend broke up, and I, I used to be friends with this guy, like, all the time. And... Uh, she told me that they broke up and everything I was I was being a good friend and listening to her I mean I know this guy was an asshole like straight up and I know that even more now and the reason this story comes up is because one of the the girls that's talking to me also knows him and she was she brought him up and that's what sparked this whole story in my head again um, basically what happened my ex best friend and him broke up and she was telling me that he's like oh well they broke up and just normal stuff and she ended up telling me that she likes me and he logged into her Facebook and read all the messages between us I mean I didn't say anything bad I never said that I liked her either she's like she's just my friend and he texted me telling me hey you need to you need to stop uh, telling or stop talking to her. I was like, why? She's my best friend. He's like, you can't really stop that. You two aren't together anymore. And basically, he, um, he continued messaging me. I was like, well, she's my best friend. You're not, uh, so there's nothing you really can do about us being best friends. He's all the hell I can. I was like, well, what are you going to do? He's all, well, I know where you live. And I'm gonna fight you. I was like, oh, I didn't say anything wrong. And let me put this in. I said he used to be my friend. <sighs> he got kicked out of his house, and I offered him somewhere to stay for the night. And I brought that up in the conversation. She's all, well, it doesn't care. It doesn't matter anymore. I was like, well, that's cool then. I only gave you somewhere a place to stay when you fucked up. So I have my my seventh hour. Um, shout out to my friends for roasting the ever-living hell out of this kid over text. Um, we... I, well... I wouldn't say I, but... He basically hinted, he was like, Oh, we're gonna fight, I'm gonna show up to your house. And it's gonna be me and you. I was like, well... Um, I went home that day, uh, dropped out of I left school... I dropped off by my friends because I think this was my junior year. And. No. Yeah, junior year. Um. Basically. He called me. Like, because, um. Actually. He's all, well, I'm on my way to your house. I was like, no, you're not. And, like, my sister was doing her arts and crafts stuff. And then I. I was sitting there. I think I was playing, like, Call of Duty or something. I don't know. Thanks guys for leaving the bomb. Um, sorry. Uh, not going that way. Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, my sister was outside painting, and then he calls me. He's like, um, "We're here." I was like, "No, you're not." I check my door. I check my window. He's here. I w I go run, grab my sister from out on the um, the our little um, carport and I pull her in I was like get inside now and I locked all the doors and after that um, he gets out of the truck and starts yelling at like yelling at the house I mean just imagine it's so fucking funny though because there was no cars in the driveway and th there's just a kid yelling at a house it was so funny and then like I opened up like my door at the house I used to live in, um, it had the, a metal screen door and then the actual door and they both locked. So I opened the wooden door and then was waiting. I was like, really? You actually showed up to my house? I was like, well, I didn't show up alone. I showed up with like, I don't, I think I counted like eight other kids in the truck and he wasn't he wasn't coming to fight me one on one. He was gonna jump me because he's too fucking scared to fight me. He has to have other people to do that. I was like, no, because you brought other people. 
and then he goes back to the truck someone else gets out of the truck he's all or his homie gets out of the truck starts yelling at me and he's all I don't um, he's all you need to get out here and fight like a man I was like no cuz all you fuckers are gonna jump me the I'll, he's like well I'm not from here I was like I don't give a fuck and he's all well you're not giving a fuck just pissed me off so you got two people that want to kill you I was like okay cool so he comes up to my my metal door and starts like trying to kick it in trying to get into my house I was like dude you realize this is destruction of property right he's like I don't give a fuck walks back to the car the other kid comes out you gonna come out here and fight me I'm like no this is over something really fucking stupid over a girl really you've lied you've cheated you've done a whole bunch of shit and just why that's my question why it's stupid shit you fight you try to fight someone over a girl that the guy doesn't even like they're just friends that that boggles my head like what the hell sorry voice crack <laughs> um so I call my two friends you guys know one of them one a for optimism I called him and he got over here he got over to my house pretty quick and so these supply drops I'm sorry this isn't a live commentary this is recorded um so uh, I call him and then my other friend and they both show up to my house and basically they the they left the truck that they were in kept roaming around my house and after that like they they started yelling threats at me and a whole bunch of other shit so I was like you know fuck it if they're gonna threaten me and they are I already have evidence of them k trying to kick the door down I'm calling the cops I called the cops, the cops came, they talked to me about everything, and I think, I don't know if they found him or not, but this kid still wants to fight me, and, I mean, he, he's tried in public, I mean, he's tried walking up to me, and, just, dude, fuck, just fucking walk away, just, just, that's a good word of advice, just fucking walk away, if you're gonna fight someone, don't do it in public, you're just trying to get more attention for yourself stupid it's stupid over something like this and after that I think because I was home alone so that's why I called my friends uh, my friends had to leave and so like I think my parents were on actually my dad was on his way home and my dad knows who this kid is I mean he, he stayed the night and my dad made that point very clear to that kid is like well you stayed here we offered you a place to, to stay for the night but you fucked up so, I get his number from the girl, my ex best friend, and uh, I have a little chat with him. And then my father talks to him, and basically, if he was gonna do anything, he needed to come back to the house and settle it like a man, not with a whole bunch of other people. And guess what? He never showed up again because he's not a man. He can't fight with anything. But after that, it's just kind of... I see him in public, I just avoid him. I mean, I don't want to get into any BS with people. And so she's like, what are you, do what are you doing with your life? And I know I say and a lot. And I I really need to stop that. I'm just... Jesus. But my point I try to get across in my videos don't fight someone over a girl. Don't, don't let alone, don't let them show up to your house and... <laughs> it's stupid. It really is. But... All, you know who your true friends are when they show up for you is something like that shit's going down. That's why I trust my friends. I'm at the, yep, damn it. <laughs> but, this has been Fragit, and as always guys, 
Have a nice day, and peace out.